Let me ask my guest what he thinks. He's a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor, also the host of the True Crime Daily Sidebar podcast in Los Angeles, Josh Ritter, on the show. Uh, Josh, what do you think uh, about how the state ended things? Do you think the jury is convinced that it's possible that really, you know, uh, all three things took place, the suffocation, strangulation, and then the overdose of the ambient? There's an old adage you just by medical examiners that the absence of evidence is not evidence of absence. And what that means is just because you don't have evidence of a smothering, that does not prove that a smothering did not take place. That is the simple point that they're trying to drive home. They have to somehow work her confession to these other men into their theory of the case. She's saying that she smothered him or strangled him. How does that work into a case where the medical examiner can only put the manner of death as an overdose of pills. And so they, they need to show that just because the medical examiner did not find physical evidence of a smothering does not prove that a smothering did not take place. It's nuanced. It's difficult. Maybe they're trying a little too much and getting a little too cute by half. Uh, but that's the theory that they have to present to the jury. Yeah, and you know, and, and the, the quote you just shared with us, that would be perfect for an opening statement, right? Yeah, it'd be a perfect way to set it up and let the jury know to pay close attention to the evidence presented. Josh Ritter, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you so much for being with us today. We're going to squeeze in a break as we're nearing the top of the hour.